The early disciples, such as the Apostle Paul, never taught that we are saved in our sins. The Apostle Paul wrote that the wages of sin is death. It is the modern Christians in the church today that are teaching that Christians are saved in their sins and that they will always go on sinning and they are positionally pure and righteous. It is heresy because Jesus calls us out of our sins and he purifies us from all unrighteousness. I want to read to you what the Apostle Paul wrote in regards to sinners who have not repented but think that they are pure. In Romans chapter 6, I'm going to start in verse 15. What then? Shall we sin because we are not under the law but under grace? Certainly not. Do you not know that to whom you present yourselves slaves to obey? You are that one slaves to whom you obey, whether of sin leading to death or of obedience leading to righteousness. But God be thanked that though you were slaves of sin, yet you obeyed from the heart that form of doctrine which you were delivered. And having been set free from your sins, you became slaves of righteousness. I speak in human terms because of the weakness of your flesh. For just as you present your members as slaves of uncleanliness and of lawlessness, leading to more lawlessness, so now present your members as slaves of righteousness for holiness. For when you were slaves of sin, you were free in regards of righteousness." What fruit did you have then in the things of which you are now ashamed? For the end of those things is death. But now having been set free from sins, having become slaves of God, you have your fruit to holiness and the end everlasting life. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord." The Apostle Paul knew that we have to be born again in order to bear good fruit. That is why he says the wages of sin is death. If you are a slave to sin, the end is death. If you go on sinning, you will perish. You have to be reborn and you have to come into the newness of life and have the good fruit, which comes from the works of the Holy Spirit and doing his work every single day. It shows by what you do who your master is. If you're sinning, you are a slave to sin, and your master is Satan. Many Christians have the devil as their master even though they say they follow Jesus. It proves by their actions who they follow. If you are a slave to sin, you will be sinning. And if you are a slave to righteousness, you will practice only righteousness. Jesus said, either make the tree good and its fruit good, or make the tree bad and its fruit bad. So ask yourself the very honest question. Is your fruit good because you are a slave only to righteousness? Or is your fruit bad because you are a slave to sin? May the grace of Jesus be with you.